Hello, and welcome to Through the Looking Glass, a behind the scenes look at Brooke DeRosa's Alice in Wonderland. My name is Corinne Schaefer. I'm a co-founder of Creative Operations and the director behind I'm the Mad Hatter. The great way that Brooke DeRosa has conceived and written the Mad Hatter is that he can work in any musical genre. From musical theater to rock, it works. The musical flexibility in the role really excited us. However, when I heard the music for the first time, I had one man in mind, Bob Fosse. The intro to the piece, which repeats throughout the song, just reminded me of Bob Fosse's choreography. And so that was one of the main influences for me for the video. Here is my concept board for I'm the Mad Hatter. I'm old school and like to create a collage of images. A concept board allows me to ground my ideas, establish a color palette, and serves as a reference throughout the project. It was important that the Mad Hatter was extremely colorful. Our color palette was bright primary colors, and we wanted a mixture of textures and patterns. We combined this with the dark and edgy sensuality of Fosse. For example, the hair and makeup references are a take on the MC from Cabaret. In planning the video, I created a storyboard, which acts as a visual map for how the video will be filmed. In the Mad Hatter, this was helpful to determine which sections would be choreographed and which sections would be blocked. To help the choreographer, plan the shots, and for final editing, I always include where in the music this takes place and for how long. You cannot have the Mad Hatter without the classic Mad Hatter hat. In all of the adaptations of Alice in Wonderland that I'm familiar with, the Mad Hatter always has this oversized hat. And I really wanted to come up with something that was unique and different. So in thinking the Mad Hatter is a hat maker, it made sense to me that he would wear multiple hats. And of course, he would have a favorite hat. And for this look, I was gifted a top hat that I covered in acrylic gems with a hot glue gun. The ribbon is comprised of brightly colored pipe cleaners, and the bottom rim is painted silver with additional stars to add a softer contrast than the black original rim. In keeping with Bob Fosse, the Mad Hatter's other hats would be Fosse's much-loved and used signature bowler hat. The costumes for the video were a mix of borrowed pieces generously donated by Teata Neue Flora and rented pieces from Jakovi Hose in Hamburg. Jakovi Hose is like entering a costume wonderland. It is almost overwhelming with the amount of clothes, shoes, and accessories that they offer. It is a great place for inspiration, and we found a lot of wonderful costumes there. It was important that our hatter be stylish, but also unexpected and unique. And just like with the multiple hats, our hatter would have multiple looks and costume changes. We wanted a contrast of colors and patterns that would play well together while not upstaging the performance. I was able to rent multiple pieces so that we could see what worked best on camera. Some combinations looked great on the hanger but fell flat when tried on. Some details didn't read well and we found that the darker colors, especially with the pants, read better on film. In these test photos, you can see the transition as we finalized our final looks for the video. Alice's dress was bought by our Alice, Sochelle Beck. We wanted a bright and vibrant blue to match the saturation of color in Wonderland. Sochelle added the lace collar and ribbon waist to soften the look and give it more of an Alice feel. There are always challenges when shooting videos, but our biggest challenge was in finding locations. In every situation, my first choice of filming location fell through. And luckily, where we ended up shooting not only worked out, but was often better than the original plan. In the case of the Mad Hatter, our original choice for filming location fell through one week before we were to film. So it was incredibly stressful at the time trying to figure out where we were gonna shoot outdoors, where there was a table that we could set up for the tea party, 
that it would be relatively quiet without a lot of traffic or interruptions. So as you can imagine, we were extremely stressed and I was walking back to my apartment and I realized that in between the buildings, there was a little courtyard park that just happened to have a picnic table, benches, and a tire swing that we ended up having a lot of fun with. To create the tea party, I used supplies from a craft store to make the streamers, flags, and brightly colored pom-poms. We combined these decorations with a quilted blanket tablecloth, mixed china tea sets, flowers, and freshly baked cookies and scones. The concept and feel of the video was very much inspired by the choreography of Bob Fosse. We used his distinct style and bowler hats to create a choreography that referenced such great Fosse shows as Pippin, Cabaret, and Sweet Charity. I loved that you actually wanted Fosse because Fosse can get very zany, even though sometimes it can be very aloof. And for me, I always actually loved Fosse. I just had a little bit when I was in high school and then when I was in my very intense ballet training as a teenager in New York City, we shared studio space with the Fosse Foundation. So they would be coming and they were rehearsing Pippin in, in the building. So I was always hearing Pippin, like the main beautiful trio from Pippin and watching them and just being like, that looks like a lot of fun. But yeah, so I, I thought it was a wonderful um, way to approach the Hatter, like an interesting, a little bit juxtaposed, but still very much fitting the music, fitting the way that Norbert is putting the music forth, and then just also a fun way to play with the character, also with the hats. Yeah, it should have this kind of undone quality. And you choreographed that in because there was the more structured, but then there would be these, these mad moments that you had choreographed in where he's just gone insane. He can't, like a, like a teak pot on the stove, he can't keep it in anymore, he starts. Mm. And I, I really liked that because that to me wasn't so much, um, you know, a Fosse thing. That was just the Mad Hatter's insanity coming coming through. Yeah, that's true. That was definitely not Fosse. The spasming, all those choreographed spasms, I really enjoyed those too. And actually, from what I remember, like Norbert was really good with the structured things. What we had to really work through as a team was finding his version of spasm. Because, yeah. you know, one person's spasm is different than the next. And, and it was... I'm glad that we found our happy medium yeah. with the Mad Hatter freaking out because I also enjoyed that part the most out of all of it, you know. With just one day to rehearse before shooting, our choreographer and assistant director, Sarah Azell, and our Mad Hatter, Norbert Kohler, worked on the Hatter's signature moves. Norbert Kohler has performed in such musical hits as Avenue Q, Tanz der Vampire, City of Angels, Ich war noch niemals in New York, and The Phantom of the Opera. We were thrilled to have him bring the role of the Mad Hatter to life. It's a dream for each actor, actually. You, uh, you never know what comes next, so this part is actually many parts in one character. And uh, it's so creative and he can be crazy and he, he can also be serious, I think. And um, this is really, um, I think he stands in a way for creativity. And that's what I like so much. You can't do anything wrong with this character. You know what I mean? Because if you feel it, if you feel it in that moment, then it's right for this character. You don't, you, you are not so um, uh, restricted in this. He can be crazy. He can be really, also really mad. So I think that's also very, what makes him, so there are no limits for this part. I like it so much. <laughs> yeah, no, you're absolutely right. You can, you can make him uh, really mad where it's kind of this mixture of being excited and scared at what he's going to do next. But then, as you said before, you can, maybe his madness is just creativity. Maybe his madness is he's ahead of his time. 
with my apartment serving as the base for the day's shooting, our cast assembled. Tomas Valentin from Teatro Noia Flora created the hair and makeup looks for our artists. And under the professional eye of our videographer and director of photography, Tai Zhu Shao, we were able to bring all of our hard work and ideas to life on film. My advice to resize So says I, the matador Thank you for joining us for this special behind-the-scenes look at I'm the Mad Hatter. Please stay tuned for future projects and videos.